um, collecting corals and mollusks along the coast that are listed in the CITES list. Uh, most corals uh, in Kenya, there are around 200 species. Most of it, the hard corals, are listed under CITES Appendix 2, or we call them the scleratians or the hard corals. But you also have some of the soft corals, like the fire corals, Millipora species, which are also listed in Appendix 2. But you also have, have the, the giant clams, the bivalves, which are also under CITES. Uh, once you, you get a specimen that you want through the diving, either skin diving, uh, you get the you, you have to break some part of these corals, unfortunately, because this is how you can only collect the specimen. Because some live in colonies, some up to two meters wide. So you have to break a piece in order to get the DNA. And the procedure is uh, it's quite simple. You know, like most corals, the living part is the polyps. So you have to get the polyp. And you can get this by uh, crushing some part of the, in order to get the tissue, you have to crush some part of it and put in the vials. Then you preserve them in uh, liquid nitrogen. This is one of the uh, mushroom coral. It's also listed in CITES. But unfortunately, these are dead. It's a dead coral because you can see the white, it's already bleached. It's maybe died some long time. But it's alive, it's got uh, this kind of uh, color. The basic tantalite that lives with it is a kind of pinkish, yeah. But it's already dead. Looking at the white, the scepter, it's called scepter, this kind of, yeah. So, actually, you cannot extract tissue from this.